Trowbridge was the great pioneer of the development of the film. An Englishman in the USA obsessed with the photographic capturing of movement. 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 Everything revolves around movement. The history of capturing movement started with the cave paintings from the Ice Age. French physiologist, Marie, who is Moybridge's contemporary, unintentionally helps the development of the motion picture with his movement analyses. Contrary to everyone's conviction, he discovers that a trotting horse during one instant has got all his feet off the ground. Shortly after that, Stanford, a Californian millionaire and lover of horses, sees engravings thereof. He is interested in the idea and makes a bet. Moybridge has to provide for the photographic proof. At last he succeeds with 12 cameras and an ingenious system of pieces of strings on the shutters, all feet completely off the ground. Coming down now to the second last in the British Fox Hunters chase, and as they do so, it's observed who's made just about all the that... From that time on, Moybridge is haunted with human and animal locomotion. In beautiful sequences, he photographs all kinds of people who crawl, walk, run, climb, descend, throw, and fling. And all kinds of animals that crawl, walk, run, climb, glide, fly, and descend. Moybridge captures all the movements he can think of. Moybridge hardly makes time to see his young wife Flora, whom he just married. And then fate strikes. One day he finds letters of Colonel Larkins, his wife's lover. He rides to him at once and finds the Colonel in the darkness of the quicksilver mines just outside of San Francisco. My name is Moybridge, and I have a message for you from my wife. 
A few months before, Flora had given birth to a son, a bouncing baby, but Colonel Larkin's offspring. Not a year later, Flora dies of a sudden illness. Moybridge keeps looking after his bastard child. In 1881, Moybridge introduces his photographs to the entire Paris literary and artistic community. Especially the painters did not believe their eyes. Humans and animals did not move in such a strange way, did they? But Moybridge has got something new. He shows the photographs quickly after one another in movement by means of his self-developed projector, the Zoo Gyroscope. With an improved version of this apparatus, he astonishes the visitors of the World Exhibition in Chicago in 1893. Edison carefully studies Moybridge's projector, further develops it, and sells it to the Lumiere brothers. They tinker on it, and in 1895, in a Paris cafe with their cinematograph, they show the very first film in public. <laughs> 